Could you tell the difference between a photo taken with a $5,000 camera versus a $600 camera? I have a challenge for you. I took portraits of Justin using the Nikon D850 with a 24 to 70 Nikkor lens, a Nikon D3400 with a 50 millimeter lens, and then my new iPhone. We always answer the question, which camera looks better, right? You can go online, you can see a bunch of chart tests and comparisons, but I wanted to know for practical purposes, can people really tell? If the only thing you can afford is a $600 setup, can you still take a beautiful photo and print it and have it look just fine? The first thing I want you to do is pull out your phone and go to my Instagram and see if you can tell in a small format. Of these three photos, this one is definitely the best one. This was taken with a wider angle lens and that's causing some distortion of his body, like his forehead ends up looking kind of big. Yeah, you're zooming, you're zooming. Um, that looks outrageously sharp though. This looks downright soft. I'm gonna guess that this one is the D850. This is the iPhone because of the wide angle. And this is the D3400. So I chose this as your first test because I think most people are looking at photos online on social media and more than half of people browse with their mobile phone. I also printed eight by tens for you. Maybe you'd wanna change your answer once you see these. Right away, I think the average consumer would be happy with any of these if a professional portrait photographer gave right? them this. I say that because I looked at a lot of professional photography in people's homes and a lot of it is like a little out of focus or the contrast is off or something like technical perfection is rarely achieved by yeah, professional Yeah, but you know what? I also don't think it's super important. Like the mood is more important. So one clue I'm getting is that there's some background blur here. You can see the logo on his shirt here is quite a bit out of focus and that's not something that you would get from an iPhone. Oh my gosh, it's like CSI. In here. This one, it's a wider angle lens. And if you look at these two pictures side by side, you can see that his facial proportions are very different here. And that's one of the differences you're going to see between a pro camera and mm -hmm. an iPhone. His forehead looks kind of big and cartoonish here. His face is even elongated a little bit because of the wide angle. Whereas here, it's more of what you'd expect from a professional photo. His features are more like what your eye sees. I'm still gonna say that this is the iPhone. It might have removed a lot of the detail in his skin. The lower quality of the sensor just won't show as much detail. And sometimes that can be kind of nice because for portraiture, you don't necessarily need all the detail in the world. It's not like wildlife or landscape photography, but you can definitely see the difference here. If you just like look at his forehead, like here, Justin has human skin and here he looks kind of alienish and smoothie. So here are my guesses. I think this is the expensive one, the D850. I think this is the iPhone, and I think this is the D3400. Let's get the opinion of an artist near and dear to me, my sleepy daughter, Madeline. Which one is your favorite? Um, this one. Do you have a second favorite? This one. Here's the reveal. Choice A is, you're right. I totally nailed it. Yep. This is the D3400 with the 50 millimeter lens. This is a $600 setup. It has like six focusing points. I didn't realize how spoiled I was until I started shooting with it. You that. probably had to focus and recompose, right? I did, I did. And that means it's did. not gonna be as sharp. Again, correct. This is the iPhone XS, a thousand dollar setup. It looks pretty good. I did use portrait mode so that you'd get some background blur and the proportions might be more flattering. It was like completely blurring his skin. And then of course this is the D850. Everything was just extremely tack sharp. If I had to zoom in on this and just show his face, the quality would hardly be degraded. Whereas these, when you really start to look close and zoom in one-to-one -one on the computer, they completely fell apart. They did not look that good. But if you want to take a picture and print an eight by 10, it looks good. And also I did put these on Instagram first. I asked people to guess which photo was which, and a lot of people didn't get it right. And these are photography enthusiasts, which tells me you're fine. You don't have to buy a $5,500 camera and lens setup unless you're really shooting pro all of the time. All right, I'm a little surprised. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think cameras made that big of a difference, but they do, they still matter a little bit. I like how we have different takeaways from this. I'm like, if you print, you could almost hardly notice. Oh yeah, I noticed. I regret bringing you in on this project. Would you like to see another head-to-head -head like this? See if I can get an expert to guess a cheap versus expensive lens next, perhaps? Comment down below with your ideas and feedback. If you'd like to see more videos like these, support us by subscribing and liking. It really helps us out, and we can make more videos like this if you do.